Oh, good to be here. Uh, I am Egyptian. My name is Ronnie, but uh, it's not my original name. Uh, I had to change my name because it's common knowledge if an American can't pronounce your name, they will change it for you. <laughs> my favorite is when they change Mohammed to Mo. You changed our name from the Prophet to one of the Three Stooges. You guys ever heard of a speedball? Yes. Yeah? Mixture of cocaine and heroin. Yeah, that's what happens when drug addicts watch the Food Network. <laughs> like, my parents took it to a whole different level. They'd always make fun of my friends while they were in the room. You guys know what I'm talking about. You know, my friends would be sitting there and all they hear is, ach, tach, mach, nach, tach, Bobby, ah! And my mom, she, I, I wouldn't say she was very, um, you know, strict, but when we did something wrong, she definitely punished us, you know? Uh, like one time she caught my brother smoking when he was younger. Uh, so she made him as punishment smoke the entire pack. <laughs> yeah. So the next day I made sure she caught me taking money from her wallet. <laughs> so I traveled the entire world only once in Egypt that I see a traffic cop do this. And they say alcohol is a drug, you believe it? Yeah, yeah, I don't. Because alcohol has drinking games. Right, you never see a bunch of drug addicts playing crack pong. <laughs> like, let's do the heroin train. Go, 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 go. You guys excited about Barack Obama? A few of you. You, ma'am, not at all. <laughs> You're like, same crap, different day. Barack Obama's story is absolutely amazing. I mean, he beat out Hillary Clinton and John McCain. And I think it, this showed, at least to the rest of the world, that Americans, we don't care about race nearly as much as we care about gender discrimination and hating old people. <laughs> now go, make babies. <laughs> By the way, this is my dad's actual sign for make babies. <laughs> it's like he's mating calamari. Like, his accent ruined my life. He'd always try to tell me to find a girl with the three Bs. Brains, beauty, and personality. <laughs> I'm glad you guys are laughing. I usually tell that to an Arab audience. They're like, yes, yes, the advice, it's perfect. Did you know that uh, some women actually go to bars and they put on wedding rings when they're not married so guys won't hit on them? You've heard about this. You've done it. See, I, I think that is dishonest. I do. And I think as guys, we should be able to yell bullshit. Yeah. And if you're not married, you have to go home and sleep with us. Yeah. But in all fairness, if you are married, then we have to put our wedding rings back on and go home to our wife and kids. Mom, I'm marrying a white woman. <laughs> Lee! Lee! Lee, I love you, Lee! <laughs> I saw the funniest side too. I was in, a, in the park and this woman, she was feeding the pigeons. But instead of like feeding little breadcrumbs, she was throwing entire slices out. And then on a bench right next to her were three homeless people like. <laughs> Like, for God's sakes, at least feed the homeless people, right? <laughs> so she starts throwing the bread at them. They gather around, started pecking. Just for fun, I ran through them to watch them scatter. <laughs> yeah. It was all fun until one of them shit on my car door handle. the albino, so we're gonna say all albinos are great in bed. No, better yet, whenever they orgasm, they glow in the dark. <laughs> we're getting albinos laid across the country, people. We get once you go black, you never go back. Once you go pasty white, you're having a brighter night. That's all my time, guys, thank you.